yes hi hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to discuss about how to import excel file into power bi desktop so this is the basic one guys since we are in the beginning phase right so that uh, we are just uh, trying to import a, a sample excel file into our power bi desktop uh, but make sure one thing guys just a lighter note in the real time you are going to work mostly on uh, uh, sql server database or teradata or oracle or other some connectors um, uh, not more uh, other some connectors or some other uh, data sources but make sure that uh, you are going to use excel as a data source as very rare so just for our understanding or just for, for pvc purposes we are using excel for uh, file to import into our power bi desktop so without any late let's get into our power bi desktop guys yes so this is the power bi desktop guys so that uh, after come after uh, uh, installation and completed of your power bi desktop once you complete your installation of your power bi desktop so when you open the power bi desktop this is the default screen guys you are going to see so now our task is to load power bi desktop uh, task to load excel file into power bi desktop so in order to load the excel file into power bi desktop there are four options guys you can load from here import data from excel by click on here and you can uh, load from here by clicking on get data and you can load here by clicking on excel workbook and finally you can click here by get data excel workbook so i'm just click on here so so i'm selecting here uh, adventure works as my sample data source to load into my power bi desktop so uh, just uh, uh, just a smaller note guys so in the excel sheet uh, these are nothing but uh, uh, when you open the excel workbook these are nothing but excel sheets okay but uh, here in the power bi desktop when you are going to connect and load the excel file into power bi desktop here these are the tables guys okay these are not the sheets here these are the tables okay so i am selecting here uh, just for sample purpose right i am selecting here customer table and date table and employee table and product table and finally one i should have one um, uh, fact entered sales uh, table okay a fact and dimension tables so e when i select here the tables guys i can see the preview of the tables also here i have three options like load transform data and cancel so when i click on load automatically it will load into a power bi desktop when I click on transform data, it will load into the power query editor. So when I click on cancel, the entire process will get cancelled. So I'm just loading the data into my power bi desktop. So it is just uh, processing the queries guys and so it's loading into our power bi desktop. So if you see here, uh, these are the five tables uh, we are loading into our power bi uh, desktop. So as I said earlier, right, as I said many times, uh, so power bi mostly depends upon the speed how your ram speed and uh, your uh, processor so make sure that at least 8 gb ram and uh, i3 i5 processor okay so there you go guys so we have achieved our uh, goal so nothing but uh, it's a sample one it's a simple one uh, so simple loading a simple excel workbook into our power bi desktop it, there is nothing complex in this one guys so for understanding purposes we are using this feature so mostly we are using this uh, sql server or either some other uh, data sources mostly so so and one thing uh, uh, default mode in power bi is import guys if you show if you want to see here uh, the mouse over this is storage mode is import so that just remember in that one guys why because the default mode in power bi is a connectivity mode in power bi is a import mode so if you see here the, the table which we imported you can able to see here guys i'm just slicing and dicing the data so i'm just selecting the employee okay employee first name if you see that employee first name and employee email addresses so so this is the view tab this is the data tab when i when i go to the data tab i can see the data of these tables so okay make sure to check in the data tables whether the data is correct or not if we see the relationship uh, relationship tab nothing but model tab there is, you can able to see the uh, relationship of course i didn't set any relationship to these two tables so i need to uh, set that one but our agenda is to just load the excel uh, to power bi desktop sample one so this is the year i am ending the video guys um, if you have any doubts kindly comment in the comment section guys so thank you for watching